Now, I know not a lot of you guys would remember, but if you guys do remember, a game, or should I say an MMORPG game called Devas of Creation. Now, we have covered this game on the channel on two or three different occasions, and we do know this game was officially meant to release last year of 2023, and there has been a lot of different hiccups and things going on with the game. They released a couple of cool showcases in the past, ETC. Originally, when we saw the game, it didn't look that great. It looked really vast, but really empty at the same time. They took a lot of people's criticisms and fixed that. The next showcase we saw was pretty cool. Remember? into the catacombs that trailer was really good and then after that they made a battlegrounds game i don't know why they did that but the game was genuinely terrible but the battlegrounds game was based off of the combat system in devas which just made devas look really bad don't know why games keep doing that stop making battlegrounds versions of your games not only do you spoil the game like you just spoil the game you spoil it uh, and if the game's combat system is terrible, mid, or just trash in general, you make people not want to play your game, like, at all. But the game, after the, the failure of the Battlegrounds, went into a hiatus. I know they have been working behind the scenes, but they haven't been transparent with anything since then. I can't even give you guys time frames on any of this, mainly because I'm in a rush and I don't want to do the research right now. I hope you forgive me. So, recently, Devas of Creations has posted a final trailer and release date which we will be checking out and reacting to together i'm praying that they don't have copyright music but uh we'll find out the hard way in a second so before we get into this you guys do me a huge favor hit that like button hit the subscribe button and let's see if they are cooking or not okay here we go i'm not gonna vo max volume it because i'm scared of copyright the models still look very good. I'm not gonna lie, those models look nice. Oh, did they change the, the combat system? Did they change the combat system? Cause that looked kinda nice. The armor don't, I'm sorry. We're gonna pause quite a bit here. The armor looks really good. The sword looks really nice. Uh, so we're gonna be having a good amount of weapons, hopefully, skeleton general. The little slide back, that's clean. With the pull-in transition. I like that, I do. I, I like the transitions. I'm really scared of copyright. Okay, the mobs are blocking and everything. So, so we got intelligent mobs maybe? Too early to tell, I'm not gonna lie. I might put my own music over this, to be honest with you. I'll be so real. I'm a bit scared. I'm so sorry. Okay, the ranger build does look interesting. See the mage build? There's no sound effects in the trailer, so it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, I'll just put my own music. Okay, they've definitely changed the combat. It didn't look like this before. What's this, like an assassin build? Did he just transform into a dragon or was that a mount? Using a mount in PvP is crazy. I think it might have been a mount. Okay, so the, oh, the mounts look kind of clean. You got a PvP arena. Okay, the dragon intervenes with the with the This has gotta be some sort of rank game mode. Or well, make it casual, bro. Releasing early September September is next month. They know that, right? Do they know September is next month? Okay, let's go back. One thing I do have a problem with this dragon intervening with the combat. Let's take that out completely. That's going to get annoying. Because it looked like the, the dragon just targeted one guy, bro. Let's be so real. Look at the dragon. He's clearly aiming for this guy. And it's tracking him. So on top of getting stunned and burned, he's, he's on top of getting burned by the dragon. Now he's got focus. Yeah, no. Take that out. That's a terrible idea. 
it looks cool on paper you know having environmental things happen with the this is not call of duty or battlefield let's 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 sit let's make it more simple let's take that out maybe the dragon could be there for aesthetics maybe take the dragon out completely so there's less lag just take that out bro um i can't really tell but the combat system looks like it's improved i can't tell but it does look like it's improved so kudos to the dev team it looks like you guys took everyone's feedback and made it and made it true um the ui looks really good the ui looks beautiful a, a little bit of black desert inspiration i see the black desert you got a little bit of the um new world inspiration here yeah y'all are mmorpg players and i appreciate that uh yeah i'm not gonna lie using a mountain combat is crazy but it's probably slower but i don't think you should be able to get on your mountain combat just so just for balancing sakes i can't complain i'm not like it's not like oh the coolest thing in the world no but it's very impressive especially considering what 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 the the, the battlegrounds game i played before it was it, it didn't look like this the M1s look clean. Look at the dagger M1s. They look clean. The hit back. It, it, it looks nice. Those transitions are beautiful. That skull sword with the pull move. Really good. Really interesting. The archery class feels like a, a pretty good archery class. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed. The models look good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. Now, the icing to the cake would be genuine, like playing the game to actually see if it's good. Because again, trailers are trailers. Trailers can be deceiving. Trailers are made to to try and impress and sway the player base into playing the game. So the game could actually be mid. But from the trailer, this looks pretty interesting. And I genuinely kind of want to give this a try. We got some cutting down trees and mining. It's an MMORPG experience, so that's that's always gonna be a thing. Um, but yeah, I, I I can't complain. This looks really nice. This looks really nice. The map design's pretty cool. The the spaces are huge, but MMOs usually the scaling is meant to be like that. In general, we meant to have big caverns, big castles, big dungeons. So I like that. Uh, and I want to, I, I honestly have nothing else to say. I'm pretty impressed, Devas. You guys might have cooked here, but we're going to find out the hard way in September. Um, the, there's no news on testing releasing early September. I'm going to reach out to the devs. I do want to try the game before the release. I just need to see if it's good or something, bro. I'll be so real. Uh, there's been no testing or at least announcements of public not public testing but testing in general Obviously, they've probably been doing their own closed testing behind the scenes Having testers play the game up upgrade the game and things of that nature and keep it away from the public eye, but Yeah, I'm impressed on how much the game has improved or it looks like it's improved in such a short amount It's not been a short amount of time. It's been a very long time. So kudos to the developers you guys should be proud of of what i'm seeing on the screen this was beautiful genuinely a good trailer and the game's releasing next month so i'll see y'all boys in the next one peace let me know what you think of everything in this in in the comment section by the way yeah do that